What is up? Back with another YouTube video. Today is the debate between Jack Eichel or Austin Matthews. Here, let me see if I can get him. No, that's right. These two guys right here. Jack Attack, Austin Matthews. Now, lots of people say Eichel is better, lots of people say Matthews better. So that's why I'm making this video today to see who is honestly the best. But, alright, so first we're going to start out with Jack Eichel's half. Jack Eichel was the second overall pick in the 2015 NHL entry draft, right behind Connor McDavid. 2015 was a stacked draft, so in almost any other draft, Eichel probably would have been number one. Austin Matthews was the first overall pick in the 2016 draft, which is a bit of a weaker draft so far. Eichel went behind McDavid, uh, Austin Matthews went in front of Line A. So, Eichel played at Boston College University. He put up pretty good numbers there. I don't know the exact numbers. I just know it was pretty good. And I just think Jack Eichel always have, has had that drive to become one of the best, to be the best. Yeah. So uh, Jack Eichel's numbers last season were 82 points in 77 games. Austin Matthews' numbers, I think, were about the same. I don't know the exact thing. I don't have it with me right now. But... I mean, if I had to put Austin Matthews and Jack Eichel together here, and I had to debate which one which one is better, overall, I would probably pick Austin Matthews. Now, I already know you Leafs fans or Sabres fans or whoever you are, go down and comment in the comments. Well, he's just better because he plays with John Tavares and Mitch Marner. Yeah, I get that. But you also got to take that in consideration. He plays with John Tavares and Mitch Marner. Obviously, it's going to help him. Jack Eichel... He has nobody. Who's the Sabres' second best player? Jeff Skinner. He's a good player, but nothing like Mitch Marner or John Tavares. Um, I guess it, even the goaltending is heavily favoring the Leafs. But I just think, I think personally for me, Austin Matthews is the better out of the two. But I do think that this might change here. Uh, in the next few years, I definitely think this could change. Especially if Eichel gets a trade, then wouldn't that be fun? Eichel, here's a good little mock draft, mock trade for you. Eichel to the Leafs. Eichel in the third to the Leafs for Matthews. It's pretty even. All right, so back on the topic. I mean, here I'll look at McDavid stats compared to Jack Eichel. McDavid had 116 points last season. Oh, in 78 games, Eichel had 82. Eichel still have a point per game, but nothing compared to Connor McDavid. You could also argue, yet again, Eichel has nobody to play with. Connor McDavid is dry side, Liverpool, Jarvi, Ryan Eugene Hopkins, guys like that. I just, I don't think that's an excuse. That's no excuse for Jack Eichel's style of play. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Jack Eichel, huge fan of Austin Matthews. I don't know. When you look at Patrick Laine, who was second overall in the Matthews draft, he's had a pretty good career so far. I almost think he can beat Jack Eichel and Austin Matthews in time. In time. It'll take a few years, though. Um, what else? Okay. I think if I had to put Jack Eichel and Austin Matthews to each a bit of a comparison to a player, I would say that they're both pretty dang equivalent to... Nathan McKinnon. They both put up pretty similar numbers. Uh, all three of them have just started to skyrocket out of nowhere. Um, I definitely think that this is a good topic to talk about here. The Sabres have half a year off. The Leafs, if they beat the Blue Jackets, which I think is pretty likely, then they will go to the playoffs. And I can honestly see them going at least to the conference finals. If they beat the Blue Jackets. Now, Mitch Marner, he had, a, he had a pretty good season last year. Putting up 94 points. It's pretty good. I mean, actually, that's better than Jack Eichel. But you could argue he plays with Matthews. He plays with Tavares. He plays with Morgan Riley. I guess that, that's a pretty good debate. And all you people out there saying that Jack Eichel is better than Connor McDavid, no. Click out of this video. Just leave. So yeah, that is my final debate. I have Austin Matthews over Jack Eichel, just barely. And I do think that this very likely could change. I do think this very likely might stay the same. 
But in the end, I still have Connor with David better than both of them. All right. Thank you for watching, sports kids, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.